I'm about to embark on a thousand mile journey across Europe in this car, which only three months ago looked like this. Today though, in Mayfair, it actually looked a little bit different. Let me tell you how we got here. Three months ago, I was offered a selection of end of life BMWs. So naturally, as a guy that likes self-inflicted pain, I decided to buy them. Now I bought these cars because I thought they were a very good spec or a very good deal. However, as a passing comment, there was a mention of an old BMW tucked right out the back, out the way, out of sight. Now that BMW right there, that was simply thrown in for free as part of the deal. So yes, technically, this E34 cost me absolutely nothing, but there was a reason for it, as you can see from the pictures. And once we dug into it, we realized that the engine had a lot of problems. Which if you are a regular here, you will know the pain and misery I've endured over the last couple of weeks. But we've made it here to the first destination, and this is the first length of our journey, central London. Which takes me to my first passenger. Hello, Mike. Hello there, everybody. I'm Mike. Uh... <laughs> Nice to see you all. <laughs> Look at Josh's brand new motor. I say brand new. Uh, brand new second the hand. Open, Josh? There might be a slight issue already. Yeah. Uh, so it's very, very warm today, and I've sat in traffic for hours and hours and hours, and it just tipped over. Just it gets hot. It gets hot basically. Too much. I reckon the fan clutch is on its way out because Josh replaced everything else. However, no, it is new. The fan clutch is new as well. It's new. Okay, well, it's not that then. So, um, it's we... only because it's really hot today. I was sat in traffic for hours, and it's absolutely fine. And it's just, just tipping over the white line before the red in traffic. So I think in the morning, once we go again, it's going to be fine because we've got a thousand miles to go and we need to get there. Yeah, a thousand miles was just, was just happening in warmer climates than it is today in London. Uh, at pace. Yeah, if, if it doesn't happen at stand, if it doesn't happen at moving flow traffic, Josh just says he's been dailing it for about a week now. I've been absolutely fine. I've not enjoyed any of these problems. It's been absolutely trouble free. As soon as you get into central London where there's no wind, yeah. there's no fields, there's no yeah. movement, it gets hot. And that's because it's old and it's shit. No, that's all right. It's all right. In fact, it's the first time I've seen this car. So Josh, I reckon I'll put some things out and you can tell me a little bit about this so I can learn a bit more about this. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So what did you do to the engine? Why is it... So, this engine here has all been, you know, taken apart and put back together. This has been vapor honed, this has been vapor honed, all the brackets and stuff in there. So a new timing belt, water pump, viscous, all the belts, all the gaskets, new exhaust gaskets. It's had new sump gaskets, new oil, fresh service. So in theory, we're good. In theory, in theory, we're in good, as long as we keep so, moving. Apart from the fact that this whole brand new everything it's just been overheating for the last 10 minutes. It hasn't even overheated. It didn't get into the red, it just got slightly warm. Don't don't say it's got overheated because you, you make them think that it's really neat. It got warm, but it didn't overheat. It's a nice spec, Josh. I it's... like it. I think you've, you've done well. I've seen the pictures of it in the field and I'm a bit taken back by the fact that this is the same car. Uh, I'm going to sit there, actually. I've not, uh, I've not had the pleasure. I've not had the pleasure of this. Yet. Yeah, shut yeah, the door. <laughs> what have you done? I'm, I didn't do this. I'm sitting here for the next thousand You've been minutes. here in one minute. Oh, I'm worried I'll shatter, I'll shatter the glass, Josh. Hang on, try here. Oh. Can you hold the door for a thousand miles? Uh, ah. Oh, look. Right, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> Give it full general lease spec. <laughs> Don't open that again. Okay, fine. Oh. And the fitment is quite tight. Let's have a look. It doesn't rub. It's got suspension travel. Look at that. What kind of is it on? Max peeling rods. Oh, oh the max, max speeding gloves, mate. We yeah. Thanks for sending them to me. They're actually really comfortable, and this car drives fantastic for what it is, doesn't it? Yeah. Honest yeah, opinion. Well, well. Around central London. The door works when I went in it. Out of 10? That's, that's Out of 10? Uh, it's solid with the captain quarter armchairs with the, head, uh, the armrest down. Yeah. This is a sweet tent. Yeah, sweet, that's sweet good tent. then. Also, it's something that's bunkered. Just the amount of people that love this car. Like, um, I'm in all sorts of cars these days. This, this is the, It's, it's a head turner. Car. It's very it's shiny. Just, but, uh, people love it. Yeah. That's because it's a nice car, you don't see them. Yeah. And this is actually one of the cleanest examples we have because it is not a clean, rotten. Clean example of the mark. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's no rot on this car. It's absolutely rot free. 
It is now anyway. I did a small patch there. It's a very subtle speck. I like it. It's mm -hmm. not shouty. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just nice. I, I do think the wheels are too big, but let's not get into that. Just, don't, you don't. You can see his face right now. He's Put like, in the comments, are these wheels too big or are they too small? I think they're the perfect size. I'm ready to go, Josh. Right. Two hours later. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. I missed the knobbly bit this time. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yeah, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, Rev yeah. Count is not working. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> With some persuasive love taps to the dashboard, we were on our way to Dover. We got to see a lovely sunrise. We got to Dover trouble free. The car is running brilliant. And now oh. we're on a boat. It's the most omelette. It is the most It is one of the omelettes. <laughs> Can you see how thrilled I am with my meal? <laughs> Was that worth like 12 quid? Yeah, you know what? I'm so glad that I spent four hours wage. <laughs> <laughs> really happy. Give the taste test. Some Ben and Vork, man. <laughs> I need subtitles for it. <laughs> <laughs> so here's, here's, here's the shortness so far. The only ones that are almost okay are these ones. Block glasses. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. They've only got three. <laughs> Um, They've only got three brands here. I want them to take bacon, oh, unfortunately. What a bargain. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Mike doesn't know that this is a thing. <laughs> and he's in the toilet right now. <laughs> we're going to throw this out the back of the E28 when we're driving. We're going to be going through Cali. This shit's going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea. Oh, oh, we're finally on the road with Lewis Deakin. Look at that machine! Oh yeah! Look at this tucking rim! He is! Look at the boys! Come on! <laughs> After the lovely surprise that we got, Mike, we decided to get into a service station just one hour into Calais, where we were reminded that the E34 still has a really annoying problem. Reassuring. Oh, this is going to get annoying. Next time I come out the window like last time. Really, let go. Have I done some paint and bodywork on this already? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Looks just like Mike Seven I did, mate. The cars are doing fantastically cruising very nicely and uh yeah everyone else has gone in for a wee and i've decided that i'm gonna stay here and look after the cars apparently um but yeah we're gonna try and see how far we can get in one day um obviously we'd love to get to poland in one day but like a thousand miles in a day it's quite a lot of miles so we'll get there really 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 late and we'd be knackered so we'll see how it goes but It'd be nice to just get there in one go because it also made my video successful and it won't have to stop halfway. Uh, but yeah. Things are going well.
We're on our motorway. Oh, look. E34. Oh, yeah, baby. We're currently just coming out of a massive traffic jam where it's in some traffic for about half an hour. So we've got the bonnet popped. It, it held it fine, but just as a cautionary measure, we popped the bonnet. So, yeah, it's really hot today. It's like nearly 30 degrees. So, that's why we're all got shirts. I didn't realise Cosy changed for the rest of us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. The rest of the boys got new shirts on. Well, they're baggy um, and they're so in flow. Our tyre pressure monitor, all the tyres went to like 40 degrees a minute ago. Now it's 38 degrees. It's really good. It tells you everything. Everything's going swimmingly. And obviously, the bonnet being popped is fine because it goes the opposite way around and it's not going to flip up. So, uh, see if you can see it. Let's see if I can zoom in there. Yeah, yeah, you can kind of see it. See? That sweet, sweet nectar H2O. Oh, oh yeah, CO2. <laughs> Not CO2. Oh, for oxygen, Josh. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah. Fresh air, that's what we want. Hey. Yeah. Finally, out of the traffic, so a little bit less anxious now. Yeah, Onwards. So, side of the road, small issue, alternator belt and power steering belt have loosened off, so I've just been in here obviously tensioning all the belts up again, and now we're all good, so the belts shouldn't be squealing. Um, they're all new belts, by the way, so I don't know why it's done that, but there you go. And of course, all the others have walked off and left me to it. Very nice of them. Filled up, ready for a six hour stint through Germany. Hopefully, let's go. <laughs> nice. you come into the into the services it's a pretty hefty rig it's a uh, a deuce whatever that is they absolutely look like beetle headlights can't lie this is cool oh it's a uh, memorial i think cool truck onwards we go we've got about six hours to go until we get to poland Henry. Oh yes. 
On the job, mate. On the job. He's a little, he's a little troublemaker, Josh. Look, he's on our shoulder. What's he doing? <laughs> what game is he playing at? What's he up to? He's giving these boys more room to get a nice video of your motor. That's good. Look at that. Look at the Max Wilding uh, tripod setup right there. <laughs> Yes, boys. Oh, no. <laughs> Fill up, number three, 300 miles left, let's go. That's all. Henry has also been taking lots of pictures of my car on the way here. Thank you, sir. No I'll put them over the picture screen right here. Back, do, do. Back, 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 back. <laughs> Done. Currently quarter past midnight and Mike's found this 24 hour Polish restaurant and we're gonna go have some dinner. We are officially in Poland and the cars have been sat at like 80, 90 mile an hour for about three hours. Absolutely trouble free. Uh, power steering belt has fallen loose again. So I don't understand what that is, but yeah, let's go get something to eat. It's called Spanish Oh, so, I'm not going to try it. Twenty-one hours combined on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Made it. It's twenty-one, yeah. Thank God. <laughs> it's like half two in the morning. <laughs> and now it is the morning after I'm sat in the car editing this video as we speak, trying to get out this evening. The car's good. I've tightened up the alternator belt. I don't know why it keeps loosening itself off, but there we go. That is how you take two. 80s BMWs across Europe in 24 hours. The car's done well. We're gonna go get it washed and cleaned today, but what a journey it has been. I'm so pleased with the car. Like all of the work, stress and effort done so well. We barely dropped underneath 95 mile an hour for about six hours straight and it was absolutely good as gold. Of course, it was gonna get hot. It's an old BMW, that's exactly what they do, but you know, we're here, we made it. We're gonna go to the show and I'm really, really happy. So yeah, I'm gonna edit this video tonight. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all have an amazing weekend. I'll do some more video on Volt Race while I'm here, but not too much, I just wanna enjoy myself and uh, we'll do some video on the way back on our journey because we might stop in somewhere cool. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I did a little bit of a different editing situation bit of a voiceover on it and stuff. I tried to do this last minute, so I wasn't prepared for it. So let's hope it all comes out fairly decent. But yeah, thank you very much. 
subscribe, have a good time, blah, blah, blah. See you later. I'm so knackered, but yeah, let's go. Bye.